Well, welcome back to Suburban Homesteader, Wyoming, Arizona, and this is Tips at 5 p.m. Well, I want you to not cut, but I want you to chit. What does that mean? We're talking about potatoes. Yes, potatoes. This is a Norland Red, and this is Kennebec White. And as you can see, they're starting to form these little, what they call, eyes on them. And this is where it's going to grow the plant to make other potatoes. And what chitting is, is when you give this potato time to start to grow these eyes, but they stay short and stubby. And a lot of times they're purplish or purplish green. And I like to chit them for about two weeks. I want them in bright light, but not direct light. And if you can just set them on a, by a windowsill, that's getting a lot of light but not the sun isn't coming through that window it's perfect now i've grown a lot of potatoes in my day and there's a lot of varieties that i like in fact i'm growing five different varieties this year and the idea of chitting is every place it has an eye it can send roots or stems up to make the plants and i don't cut my potatoes so when I go to pick them out, I want them to be about this size. Not real small, but not big. Now, is there anything wrong with cutting them? Technically, no. But sometimes people end up cutting them too small. They know that they have to have one eye, and so they're just slicing and slicing that potato. Well, when it starts to grow, it doesn't have any roots. And so all the energy that it's expanding is coming from the flesh of the potato. So if you cut these too small, it just doesn't have enough energy and oomph to really give you a good crop of potatoes. So I don't cut these anymore. I just plant the whole potato. And I decide, depending on where the eyes are coming out, which one is my top. And so this has the most eyes for me on this one. So when it's chitting, it's gonna sit straight up and down like this. So these eyes get a lot of light. They'll start to grow over the next two or three weeks and they'll be ready to plant out. But I don't plant them in the garden right away either. After they're in getting chitted for about two to three weeks, I'll look at them to see. Then I'm gonna plant them in pots inside because we'll have frost and snow all the way to May 15th. And if I planted them outside, the leaves that are above the ground would just die off. They just cannot withstand the frost that we get here in Wyoming. But if I plant them in pots, and on nice days I carry all the pots out, bring them back in at night, they grow strong and healthy, and I get abundance of potatoes. So as the summer goes on, I'll give you updates on what I do with my potatoes because I have a lot of techniques that I use. Like when the potato plant is about two feet tall, I'm gonna cut it in half. I'm gonna mulch around it with those top leaves. It'll get a bit some bigger, but it'll really increase the amount of potatoes I'm getting. If it's a really hot summer, I'm gonna put hoops over top of those potatoes with PVC pipe, and I'm actually gonna run bamboo fencing on it still getting a lot of light, but it's filtered and not so hot. And the potatoes really appreciate it. They're just tricks that you do. I'll show you my fertilizing secret on what I use for fertilizer, but that's for another video. So that's my tip at 5 p.m. I hope you're already subscribed because if you're not, I don't know why not, because I try to give a lot of information on gardening. And I appreciate everyone that subscribes. They give the thumbs up. They like, like the video. It's all part of being on YouTube. But I will see you next Thursday night at tips at 5 p.m. with another tip just for you. I'll see you next time.